Hey guys, today I have a Crossley washer and Whirlpool dryer we'll get to in a minute. Right now the washer is filling up. We've got it set speed wash, so it should only take about 30 minutes. Temperature set to cool. Soil level, which is how long that wash cycle is going to last, set to normal. Spin speed, I cranked it all the way up, which is actually super heavy towel load here we've got going. A bunch of hand towels, bath towels. Um, that's about as full as you'd want to fill it with a center agitator and it's getting sensed up right now filling up we've got the deep fill option so we should get full submersion on that and we're gonna let it rock and roll from here you'll get to see that it fills up with water all the way like it's supposed to agitates real strong agitation that the drain works like it's supposed to and then has a nice fast balanced smooth spin cycle then when the washer's all done Move the clothes over to the dryer and show you that the dryer is working perfectly. All things you'd check out is if you're standing here yourself checking it out, you get to see everything works perfect. So you get home, plug it in, you know you're good to go. So we'll let it fill all the way up and we'll come back. All right, and it stopped adding water, started agitating. It might stop and add a little bit more water as we go, but as you can see, just about full submersion there on the water. Now, at home, with your soap and everything, it'd be pretty sudsy. Everything would be saturated with soap real good. I only use about a cap full of bleach when I do these test loads here. So not real sudsy or anything, but like I said, at home, it'd be nice and sudsy. And uh, yeah, washing great. Nice, strong agitation there. All right, drain's kicking in. Draining that water out. Nice long drain hose on there. You can hear it kicking the water. Now it's gonna spin to extract the used up water. Then it's gonna fill back up, agitate in the fresh water for the rinse cycle. Then we'll be on to the final spin, which is what I'll come back for next. All right, spinning on that high speed spin, which with as heavy as a towel load, I probably should have had it on normal, but I always kinda of like to let everything rip full blast from my test videos. As you can see, it's spinning it nice and fast. Got about nine minutes left on the entire cycle. And then these will be good to go. All right, now we've got the clothes moved over to the dryer. Washer's all cleaned out. You see a nice huge capacity on this one here. That's where you put your soap, dispenser. Over here, we've got the dryer running. Time dry, 60 seconds, high heat. So you have plenty of different heat options here for just about any cycle. You'd want to use wrinkle control. And we've got the lint trap right here. You wanna make sure that gets clean and cleared out before each and every load. You see the dryer's running smooth. Sounds great. And I'm gonna show you that it's heating like it's supposed to. Right in between those two red dots, we're taking a surface temperature measurement. So we'll go ahead and open this up. You see everything's tumbling. Right inside that little grate there is where the heat's gonna pump out. It's nice and hot right inside that great there and then nice bright light you see everything we're gonna hold to start it's gonna start back up and it's good to go all right we'll go ahead and get these listed up for sale if you have any questions at all feel free to reach out and I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video thanks you guys have a great day